Gemini, hello my loves and welcome to your weekly love reading. This is a bonus reading for all 12 signs and um, uh, we're going to dig into the person you're involved with romantically. Like what's going on with them? What's up with them? How do they feel about love? What are their intentions toward you? Their fears? So on and so forth. I've already pulled your cards. I've meditated on them. I've studied them so that I can understand what's going on with your person. I do a lot of readings about you guys specifically, but I want to get into the person you're involved with. We're going into this new year. We want to know who we're dealing with, right? Because a lot of us have um, New Year's resolutions and we're just not about that life. Dealing with people who don't have the best intentions, who's going to be on some BS, and Gemini, I am here to offer you some clarity on the person you are dealing with. Now, looking at your cards, Gemini, I feel like what I'm reading on this person, you already kind of know this. I don't think that this is a secret to you. Uh, so what I do see is that this person is wanting you back into their life. Um, I see that there was a breakup. Because possibly someone, you got some news, some really bad news, some quote unquote gossip regarding what your person was doing that they shouldn't have been doing. Something trifling, shady, um, not sure what it was entirely. Usually that could be cheating, but people do other shady things that have nothing to do with cheating or infidelity. But I kind of feel like it might be along those lines. But the reading is not about what they did. It's about where they are now. Um, they do want to make this right. But they do have a secret. They have things that they are hiding. Okay? And um, they, they don't want you to find out everything. So they have some obstacles, okay? They have some obstacles. Um, but they want they don't want to tell you. And they want to pursue this. They want to manifest this relationship back. But they have done something. Okay? They have a secret. Because I got the moon all over my board. I got the high priestess here. Both of those cards represent secrets. Okay. And what they fear is that you discover their secrets and you stand in your power and you can you put an end to this. You change this whole thing and that you're unforgiving. Cuz they want you to forgive them. Okay. I think you, to some degree you may know something has gone down and they want you to forgive them, Gemini. Um cuz they are very much so burdened by this they are not sleeping at night they're stressed out they are worried and so the, uh, I have the nine of swords as their plan of action so they're not doing anything they're trying to tackle their own stress they're trying to tackle their own worries um, they're trying to overcome their grief of losing you they are not really moving and I know they're not moving because I have the knight of pentacles in the reverse so they're at a standstill because the knight moves he moves around but at this moment this person is not moving around at all so the potential outcome is a judgment I feel like this person will make a decision here to not pursue this relationship now, I feel that they are, there's fear here, okay? I don't think they can live with what they have done. They want to come back to you. But they, I think they fear rejection from you, possibly. Because they don't want you to put 
to complete this, right? And they want you to forgive them. For them to not pursue this, to make a decision, to um, put in no effort, no work, not even do anything here, tells me that they are engulfed in guilt and or fear, okay? Um, yeah, so Gemini, Madalins, the question is, what, what are you going to do about it? Okay. There was some bad news. I do see that. And so they're canceling this relationship. I have the sun in reverse. That's like a broken relationship or canceling plans of some sort because of the six of wands in reverse. Because of bad news, because of some sort of failure, some sort of lack. Okay. They just don't have the courage to pursue this with what they're feeling. So, your advice, my darling, is the Knight of Cups. This is telling you to do what makes you happy. This is telling you to pursue what serves you. If this person is not serving you, if this person is not delivering for you, then you know what time it is, they know what time it is. But whatever you do, lead with your heart, okay? I deal with so many people who don't want to leave with their heart because they're afraid of it getting broken. But whatever you do, don't hold back, okay? And if you want love, you want real love, you want a certain type of partner, then you go for that, okay? Even if it's not in this person. Now, I always say this. Will this person change? I don't know. I have no idea. Will they ever come forth? Um, as of now, they're not coming forth. Coming forward. <laughs> forth. Um... You know, energies are so fluid. So any moment, they could be inspired to come toward you. But as of this moment right now, they are just dealing with their own guilt and pain. Wallowing. I get wallowing. You know what I'm saying? Feeling crappy. Um, But the Knight of Cups is your advice. So pursue what you want. Okay, like now's the time to do that. We can't wait for other people to get it. We can't wait for other people to figure it out. Um, if you want this person to come back, they are feeling too bad to come back right now. And they're just not putting in that effort. But they, they want to. I think this is a lot of wishful thinking on their part. But um, Gemini, follow your heart, my darlings. And um, that is all I have for you and your person and what they're going through right now. So, thank you. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Give this video a thumbs up. And, um, yeah, I will see you guys next time, okay? Have a good one. Deuces.